Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually. And today, welcome back to another episode here on the Afterlife server, where we are over... What in the world is that? <laughs> Holy... Cow. I'll tell you, you come back to spawn at every time. I mean, look, look, look at this. There's a... There's a banner. Oh my god. Wow. That's high sensitivity. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's... That's crazy. That's crazy. Things are happening over at the uh, shopping district and we're only going to add to it today because I want to do some work over here at the shopping district. I got some things laid out over here. Frog light future shop plans. I think I read that backwards. Frog light shop future plans. That's probably just spelled backwards to be honest or written backwards. <laughs> So you might be asking, what are my future shop plans here? Because this is going to be a little bit confusing to explain, I think. But not really. We're going we're gonna to get through it. This is Leaping Lights. We're going to le move Leaping Lights next door over here. We're going to make a bigger shop for Leaping Lights. Uh, a more, eh, a better shop, an upgraded shop, right? This shop I really like. I still like the, the little cute, quaint little build. So we're going to upgrade it ever so slightly. It's going to look Eh, kind of the same, but we're just going to give it a little bit of an upgrade. And it's going to butt right up to the next, the new Leaping Light shop. And this shop right here is going to be a new shop. It's going to sell our sniffer plants that are going to be right here, which I think are going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I, I, my original idea was to sell the sniffer plants in this shop over here, which as you can see, this is Skunk's future moss shop area. This is where Moss Mail or Moss and More is going to be. I haven't really decided on the name just yet, but that's where our Moss Shop's going to be. And I, I decided to separate the Sniffer Plants from the Moss Shop, uh, just to kind of distinguish them a little bit more and uh, have two separate locations. Uh, so you get all your Moss and Azalea stuff over there, and up here you get the Sniffer Plants. So, so I just discovered something so cool, and that is these little... Heads. Now, that is not something that is new, right? We, we know about player heads and how they could be used as detail blocks. But we have this cool thing on the server where if you put a block into a stone cutter, it makes that block, it makes a little micro block, which is so cool. I love that. Of course, you can get them from the Wandering Trader and all that stuff. Uh, we have that on the server as well. But this is an easier way of getting those blocks or whatever block you want it. And look what I did it here. Huh? Huh? I know we're going to be changing this shop and all, but this was so cool. I, I just had it. I had to put it in right away just to see what it looked like. So when we build the new shop, we'll transfer this over to the new shop. But this is just so cool. I love this so much. Also, I just wanted to mention that we do have applications open for the Afterlife SMP. If you are a YouTube content creator and you're interested in joining, it's a lot of fun on this server. So it's worth a shot applying. There's a link in the description to the application video and that'll give you all the information that you need we actually do have a new member on the server by the name of mazarin and i will link her channel down in the description below go show her some love on her episodes and all that stuff and welcome her aboard into the afterlife community and onto the crew and all that good stuff it's super exciting uh so we're going to go give mazarin some gifts kb has a shulker box full of stuff to give Mazarin, and then I have sniffer eggs because she was looking for sniffer eggs on her episode. So I was like, okay, well, I got them. So I might as well go give it to her. Uh, I think she's over this way. Do we set up tent and just wait it out? That would, I feel like that's it's not like a Black Friday sale, KB. It's like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not like we're setting up tent we outside. The shops to open. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're setting, out, setting up tent outside of a Walmart. There's a boat. Yeah, There's we, we could just, of civilization. just sit here and have a conversation and wait for her to come back. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> she just shows up sure. and we're yapping. Hello? Yeah, we're just over here. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, see, I told you. Hold on, I'm, I'm coming back. Where are you? <laughs> I'm in the ground. Uh oh. Don't That's... mind these crazies oh, yapping see... up here. I see a name tag. Mazarine. Yes. Sorry, I was finding diamonds. <laughs> From the below region. Oh, yes, with the achievement. Yep. Mm -hmm. Play the Jeopardy music. Wait for her to come up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, oh. what's going on? Hi. 
Hi. Uh, well, welcome to the afterlife. Oh, thank you. Yep. Welcome. This is Blonde Skunk. <laughs> well, he everybody smells. knows me. Come on now. <laughs> Let's be honest here, KB. All right. Star of the show. Right. Right. You know, built the town hall. That's it. That's what it is over here. Okay. You know it's not impressive if you have to sell it yourself, right? Other people need to brag about you. Isn't it good? It's it's pretty good yeah. build. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, ooh, we're ooh, here okay. to give wait, you wait. gifts. Oh. Because, you well, know, you. new member and all. So we, we saw that thing. Is that like a custom? Wait, what? Is it a custom to give gifts to new people? A custom? Yeah, sure. Like, okay. Well, not like if we get more members, I don't know if I can keep this up. I'm going to go broke. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I will just raid think he has like millions of diamonds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw that he beat beat us to the punch over here. So. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that when I logged in. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Can we all look at it together? Yeah. We're so yeah, curious yeah. at what it's in it. All right, let's do it. Let's <laughs> look at his first and then let's see what if we have anything better. Oh, it doesn't break the sign. OK, I was wrong. Oh. Man, look at this overachiever. Yeah, <laughs> I think my gift's going to be 10 times better. Anyway, you want to give your gifts okay. first? Ah, uh, you can go first. Okay. Mine? Okay. All right. Well, he, you see what I got in my hand? Oh. Yep. Yep. I know I, know oh. I said I was just going to make a deal with you, but I was like, <laughs> ah, my, I'll give them away for free. So I got, I got five sniffer eggs for you here. You can. Oh my goodness. Smells interesting. Well, that's fitting. Mm. That's blonde skunk. That's smells interesting. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. But. Thank but, you. Yeah, no problem. Now, your gift, punk. Oh. Show it up. <laughs> uh, let me just. <laughs> let me just outdo skunk here. Oh. I, will, I will look at oh. him. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I like the eyeballs. Oh, crap. I knew those were good. <laughs> so let me just tell you a little you. thing, a little bit about me. I, uh... Oh, here comes the lore. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I like dar darker things. I like darker horror storylines. I was the dawn of the afterlife. I was the leader of the dark side and totally destroyed the light side. Um, did I? What was the story? I can't even remember. <laughs> you can't even remember your own, <laughs> own lore. <laughs> But I, I, I like to dabble in darkness, but this season I've been hiding that darkness in cute builds. So I had to put a box together that represents that, but I already told me you're thinking of cottagecore stuff, so I yeah. think the pink should work. Yeah, I probably will use it. I was going to go look for a uh, a cherry biome, but no, I guess I don't have to. Oh, you're set no. for life there. Sorry, I'm just getting seeds. Really like destroying your base like that? Oh, I want a Guess parrot. Here. There's a parrot. Isn't that your parrot? Not technically. No, it's it's a random parrot. It's a blue random parrot. I don't have a parrot yet. Oh crap. You don't need this grass, by the way, DMs. No, 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 no. I'm going to break it all anyways. Uh, I'll charge you 25 this... diamonds for a lawn service. <laughs> hey, we got there him. Go. There we go. Get on my shoulder now. Uh-huh. Blue Polly. Oh, very nice. Oh, he's a good birdie, isn't he? Beef. <laughs> I'll call him beef. <laughs> beef, you'll be calling beef. Yeah, call him beef because of this joke just now. You're forced beef. to you're... All right, let's leave now. I, I wanted to leave like we a don't... half hour ago. <laughs> we, 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 by the way, we don't know how to say goodbye. That's okay. <laughs> We're so excited to have you. So this is really exciting. New people, you know. So yeah, you're the first new member in a long time. So this is, it's, it's really exciting for us and we're happy to have you. So. Well, thank you. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we'll leave you there. We won't bug you All anymore. Right. See but you. See ya.
I see you with the spyglass and my very animated eyes. <laughs> I can't stop doing this now. Peekaboo. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, my buddy Lance over on uh, YouTube, he has some awesome tutorials on how to get these animated eyeballs. It's super easy. Uh, it's basically a resource pack with a couple mods to help it um, be animated and all that good stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that, I'll link it in the description. I'll link his uh, channel in the description. He has some awesome videos on this and it's so cool. Oh, it's so awesome. I love more animations in Minecraft. We, we seriously don't have enough of them. But yes, I got the foundation laid out over here for the two new shops that are going to go back in. Again, we're going to be upgrading the frog light shop that's going to go over here and be looking like a better shop. Seriously, what is with all these cats? Holy smokes. There are so many cats over here. And then over here is going to be our sniffer plant shop. And we're going to build that in due time. But I've also been doing more work over here at the shopping district. Just kind of laying out uh, some terraforming work. As you can see over here, kind of got this laid out. Yep, yep, yep. So we got this sort of cliffside coming down over here. It's not much, but I thought I would just show you what I was kind of also working on because it's sort of just a floating piece of terrain and that, that always bothers me. You know, I tend to do that. I leave floating pieces of terrain sometimes and I feel like that could be worse than floating trees, but who knows? But yeah, so we're going to get to working on these shops. Well, let's see if I remember how to build on camera. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've built on camera. And yes, I'm I'm doing this live while I'm building. And to be honest, I don't know how I used to do it back in the day where I didn't have Lightmatica. Because <laughs> right now, trying to build and place these in the schematic as they are is challenging in itself. When I first started YouTube, there was there wasn't any like Matica. There wasn't any tools like that. And man, that's going to make me sound pretty, pretty old, but that's what it was. You know, that's what it was back in the day when you didn't have any uh, sort of tools or anything. But that's the thing, though, with with these tools that we have now. And I don't know if this is the right way to kind of say this, but it it almost takes the 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 personality out of out of a build, right? Yeah, it almost takes the personality out of a build and and building in general and almost like the personality out of the content creator itself. Um, because we, we do all these jump cuts, we do all these cinematics, we do all these fancy editing things, and then it's at the end of the day, there's nothing to relate to, right? Yeah, cool. You know, it's cool to have like a, a really cool build at the end of a of an awesome time lapse, but at the end of the day... There's something special about building on camera, right? There's something, you know, intriguing about it still to me. And it, it really, it, it really adds that like personality to a video. Now I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, well, it's kind of hard to do that uh, on an SMP, right? Not easy, as you can see, you know, uh, pops on. And uh, so like at any point he can come over and be like, hey, what's going on? So. You know, which is fine, which is great, because that's the whole point of being on an SMP. 
but it kind of ruins the the talky bit of the uh, schematic. Like right now, there he is. <laughs> but uh, if I'm muted, if I'm deafened, you know, he'll you know he'll get the idea. He's a professional YouTuber. He knows. He knows these. He knows these things. I think. <laughs> um. But that's kind of the thing, right? A lot of a lot of content can be SMP content, and so if like for Hermitcraft example, for example, you're not going to see a lot of building on camera, just because of the nature of the content, right? It's it's not going to be what you think it is. And there he is. Oh, he's just he's just sitting here. He's just looking at the build. <laughs> Let's talk to him. You like it, Puff? Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking about uh, building on camera. I'm trying to do like a building on camera kind of deal. Uh, going a little old school with this episode. And uh, Don't let me yeah. get in the way. I'm just sitting here admiring. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I just thought I'd say hi to you. Isn't it nice? Thank you. Oh, it looks beautiful. I, is that, what is that up there? Like those, hmm? it looks so interesting. Those windows. It's uh, yellow frog lights behind uh, copper grates. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. I did it with uh, wow, Shroomlight behind at, at the, the Mossy Fortress, but I, I tried frog lights on this build, and I think it looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, from this perspective, it kind of looks like it's just right behind there, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like it's like a one pixel thick texture on top of it in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. Like it actually it kind of works, right? I don't know how, yeah, it's but it really, does. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I get it. I get why we, you know, build on, we don't build on camera nowadays though. Like a lot of YouTubers don't because we want to create those high quality videos. We want to create those high quality moments. And, uh, it makes sense. I do the same thing, right? I'm not out of the loop. I've adjusted to the, to the meta of the content, if you will. Like there is a, there is like a meta, uh, if you will, to, content creation like okay this is the style of minecraft video you got to make to be you know to get people's attention to be successful right if you if you're looking to go in that route but it, it's just something about uh building on camera that is a lost um trade if you will it's a lost thing um i think etho touched on it a little bit um in his one up ep his episode of hermitcraft you know, he kind of he kind of touched on this as well. It's definitely like a lost thing, which is kind of sad in a sense, because like I said, it takes that personality out of the out of the episodes. That's that's kind of just what I think about it. That's kind of what I've just been pondering about. And that's, those are the kind of things I ponder as I'm building structures like this. Is I'm like, well, I could I could talk about something now. Like I could I could just put a little two cents in the what I'm what I'm as I'm building right. Um, I was kind of talking to my buddy Dukester on this. He's, uh, it's Dukester on YouTube if you haven't watched any of his content. He has some fantastic, uh, Minecraft videos. He plays on the Resolute SMP server. Um, and he's absolutely fantastic, uh, of a content creator. And, uh, I was talking to him about building on camera and kind of the, the, the lost trade, right? Um, or the lost skill of building on camera and, uh, I don't know. He, he kind of agreed with me in the sense that it is something that you you kind of miss. And it is not an easy thing <laughs> to do. And we also touched on the, the topic of, well, if you talk about something, you know, kind of kind of topical, right? It's uh, might be a, some people might not have the same opinions as you, uh, which can be sometimes dangerous, right? Um, so there, there are, you know, risk factors to it. Um, and there's also the thing of, well, is it boring? Is it, is it a boring way to make videos? Um, and I think that just depends on the audience. I think that just depends on, um, what audience you're looking for. Are you looking for, you know, a more kiddish audience that like the more uh, they have a short attention span, right? As our attention spans have have gone down over the years, right? Like we don't we don't have a, we love YouTube Shorts, right? YouTube Shorts are a big thing. We love TikTok. We love all these these platforms that have short form videos, Reels, all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, um, again, that kind of just adds to the 
well, this is a lost um, skill in Minecraft. So, and I used to do it a, a lot back in the day, like a little too much. Like every single episode was just me building something on camera and just talking about something going on in my life. And I always like, I always like to say like, you know, when I was making videos back when I was 15, 16 years old, when I first started YouTube, I used to like to think that I knew everything about everything back then. Like I, I kind of thought I knew it all as most of us, as most of us do at that age. We always think we, we know it all. Even in your twenties, you think, you know, it all, you think you got it all figured out. You don't. Um, but those are the kind of topics that I would talk about, uh, in those episodes is like, oh yeah, like, like I've been through uh, the war or something <laughs> like I've been through life already, but that's just not the case. And, uh, that's why I feel like now, like coming back and talking and building on camera. Yeah. I don't know anything, right? Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, but when I'm talking about topics like this. Stuff that I'm pretty familiar with, I, I'm comfortable, right? I don't, I don't feel like this is an edgy topic. I don't think it's gonna make anybody upset. The only thing it might do is bore you, but at the end of the day, if you don't enjoy it, you don't have to watch. Kind of just an interesting topic that I wanted to touch on. We're kind of almost done this build anyway, so um, I'm gonna continue the rest of this build, and uh, I'll come back with you with a little progress update once it's done. So after AFKing at the Frog Light Farm for a little bit, just to get the Leaping Lights shop a little bit restocked, and then after farming a little bit more of the plants, we got these shops fully stocked. And uh, so we have smelly plants over here. This is the full shop, completely done. It looks so cool. I love this. So as you can see, it's a slight upgrade from the last Leaping Lights shop, and it looks a little bit better. And just a little bit more detailed. We're including a little bit more of those tough blocks. I love this tough block as a trim block. It looks so cool. It's got this like little squiggly lines right there. And just, it's so different from anything we have in this game. And it looks so good. I love it so much. Then we got on display out front here, a torch flower and a pincher plant. Just to kind of signify what this shop kind of is. If they can't tell by the shop, shop name, you know, smelly plants, sniffer plants, whatever. Uh, heading on inside. We got a cool little note block to signify that, you know, somebody's entered the shop and when you exit the shop, it does the same thing. Pretty cool. Uh, it, we have a sign over here saying pay in barrel. So all what that means is just, you just pay in the barrel and <laughs> we got, <laughs> we got customers already. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. All right. All right. All right. All right. So that's pretty cool. I literally just opened up this shop and we have diamonds in here already. That's insane. That's awesome. Ender chest behind the counter, of course, and uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's not too shabby. I like it. I really like this. Very cozy inside. Um, you know, I would say it's 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 about the same size as the the last build, uh, the last Sleeping Lights build. So still just very cozy, very cute on the inside there. Then we have the new Leaping Lights building. Look, it's so cool. So we have some frog lights up top there just to kind of signify this is the frog light shop. And, uh, I didn't know a good way of making like a sign or anything like up top. So I just, I just did frog lights and I thought it turned out pretty good. Another way you can kind of tell is that we have frog lights in the windows here to kind of look like a lit room. I love this trick using copper grates with some sort of lighting source behind the window. Uh, makes it look like a lit window. It looks so good. I love this so much. As you can see here, we have the leaping lights, skunk shop. I'm going to try to label all my shops as if, if they are mine. So I'm going to say it's skunk shop because maybe somebody new on the server is joining. They just want to know who, who actually owns the shop and maybe they have, maybe they want to get like a special order or something and they can message me on discord and we can work something out. Frog lights here, of course. And we got little, little frog light outside and it looks so good. Heading on in the inside, a little bit of a different chime. I wanted to have a, a, you know, a little bit of differentiation in the note block sounds just to kind of signify that you're entering a different shop and I don't know, just want to try out some different note block sounds. I think it really adds for the immersion and the effect. We are charging a little bit more for frog lights now. 
Uh, we're doing three diamonds for 64. I think this is a better price. Uh, it's a more fair price because it does take a little bit for me to AFK at the Froglight farm. And uh, even though it's not a terrible process of getting these, it's still tedious. It's still, have to, I have to take time to AFK there. And uh, I feel like three diamonds is a better price rather than one diamond. A few little extra things that I did over here. Kind of laid out a little flower bed right here. I do plan to put a custom tree kind of growing up on the side here, kind of cover up this wall a little bit. And uh, just to add a little bit more tree around here, it's very barren. We don't have a lot of trees, so definitely want to get some trees popping up in here. Then I kind of went ahead and added this alleyway in, this little retaining wall as well. Uh, I think it looks so good. So it, when you add, walk into the alleyway, you feel like you're kind of sunk in and it, it feels really nice. It feels cool. We got a couple garbage bins back here. Got recycling and trash with a little bit of smoke coming out. Like it's, you know, got some, uh, I don't know, some pollution, air pollution coming out. I don't know, <laughs> like toxic air or something. Um, still got to add a, a couple little items in to these item frames just to kind of signify what they are. Got to do that. Got to remember to do that. And uh, yeah, and I went ahead and added a bunch of grass over here as well, because I'm just trying to decorate around this area and I hopefully this is okay I just went ahead and put a bunch of grass and ferns in this area just kind of fill it out just make it feel a little bit nicer some flowers here and there as well and uh yeah just to kind of fill in this area and kind of fill in that negative space that we have around at spawn another big change is that I'm going to be moving the moss shop up here which I think is going to be a little bit better kind of inspired off of beta below in a way with these connected buildings um kind of making builds like connect and stuff. Uh, whereas he had all one shop with all his connected buildings. Um, I'm having completely different shops. So I'm having leaping lights as we can see, smelly plants. And then we're gonna have a shop right here with the moss shop, which I think is gonna be a much better spot. Now I'm gonna have to redesign the build that I, I had for down there. Um, what, is, what is happening over here? Okay, we're just going to leave that be. <laughs> I hope he's safe. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. That's 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 not... There's only something going on in the afterlife server. I'll tell you that much. We originally were going to have the moss shop down there, as you remember. And uh, it, it it's a good spot, right? It's not a bad spot. but And I did have a build design for there. But I, I kind of want to just continue these, these uh, row shops, if you will. Like these little town shops like downtown shops. And uh, I think this is going to be a better way or a better spot for this moss shop. And I'm excited about that. Uh, so I will have to design a, a much smaller shop, uh, I must say. But uh, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be better. I just do. Um, especially if we have a wall here, right? If we have another uh, build, then it's going to this alleyway is going to feel so much cooler. It's going to feel so cool down here. Um, I love it. I love it. Even at the shopping district, we were trying to get some immersion going on and lines of sights and cool little walk-in areas, and I, I love it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these shops. But yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the builds and the building on camera as well. I know that's a little bit different from my episodes nowadays, but uh, I thought I would try something different. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what you think. And as always, don't forget to be awesome, and I'll see y'all next time.